Hi, my friends. Welcome back. So yesterday I read you guys a story called I Am Peace, and it was a story about what we call mindfulness. And mindfulness is really being present in the moment. It's it's not worrying about everything. It's, it's taking in your feelings. It's taking in uh, your emotions and processing those before you react. But it's the idea that sometimes we get caught up in things. Sometimes we're on our phones and we're not listening to conversations. So it's those moments where you really want to stop and pay attention. So the story that I'm going to read to you today is similar to that. It's called Elmer's Walk. And if you notice over here on the side, it gives us a little blurb about the book. And it says, as Elmer strolls through the jungle, his friends rush past too busy to enjoy it with him. Can Elmer find anyone to share with a moment with? So in this story, Elmer is kind of practicing some mindfulness. He's having a wonderful moment, but all of his friends are just too busy. Let's see what happens to Elmer. Elmer's Walk by David McKee. Elmer the patchwork elephant was sniffing some flowers when some of the other elephants hurried by. Come and smell these flowers, Elmer called. We don't have time, Elmer, said an elephant. We're hurrying somewhere. Not long after that, Elmer was looking at an old tree trunk. Three crocodiles charged past. Hey, crocodiles, called Elmer. Look, there's a log pretending to be one of you. Another time, Elmer, shouted a crocodile, and one after another, they plunged into the water and disappeared. Lion came running past while Elmer was listening to the waterfall. Hey ho, Lion, said Elmer. Come in. I don't have time right now, Elmer, Lion interrupted. I'm late for a very important nap. Then he was gone. The monkeys came swinging through the trees just as Elmer noticed a spider's web that had captured some drops of rain. Look, called Elmer. Yes, yes, lovely, delightful, amazing, said the monkeys without looking or slowing down. Continuing his walk, Elmer paused to watch the river play with his reflection. The group of elephants raced by again. Stop a moment, said Elmer. Before he could say more, an elephant said, No time, Elmer. Sorry, we're still hurrying somewhere. Elmer was alone again. When the birds flew by, Elmer had no chance to say anything about the rocks he was looking at. They flew past quickly with just a, Hello, Elmer, no time to stop. Elmer sighed and walked on. Suddenly, a noise made Elmer think the elephants were back. It was the hippos. Look at the clouds, said Elmer. There's one that looks like an elephant. That's funny, Elmer. So do you, said a hippo. The others laughed and ran on without even a glance at the clouds. Elmer was watching the butterflies dance when Tiger galloped by. Steady, Tiger, said Elmer. Tiger slowed and said, Elephants may not know about tea time, but tigers certainly do, and I don't intend to miss it. No time to stop. Sorry. Bye. Later, Elmer met Snake. You know, Snake, he said, it's sad. Nobody has time to just stop and stare. I agree, said Snake. Sad. Very sad. For instance, said Elmer, look at these flowers. They have more colors than you and I put together. But Snake had already left. The elephants rushed by again when Elmer was listening to his echo. He didn't try to stop them. I know, he said. You're busy hurrying somewhere. Here, silly Elmer, said an, elef er, an elephant laughed. Can't you see? We're hurrying back from somewhere. Elmer just sighed. Hurry, 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 murmured Elmer as he strolled on. Then he saw his cousin Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur, he said. What are you doing? Watching the night arrive, said Wilbur. 
the cousins stood happily together and watched the sky darken and fill with stars. Shall we count them? asked Wilbur. No, said Elmer, we don't even, we haven't the time. Yeah. So one more time, there's a little, um, a little thing back here, a little uh, kind of more like a poem, um, but it's again just just thinking about our our having the time to stop and just pay attention. So this is actually a poem called Leisure Leisure, excuse me, by William Henry Davies. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stand and stare, no time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep or cows. No time to see when woods we pass, where squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see, in broad daylight, streams full of stars like skies at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet, how they dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began. A poor life this if full of care, we have no time to stand and stare. Sometimes, my friends, we just have to stop and stand and stare. And again, be present. All right, my friends, I'll see you next week for some more read-alouds.